Yeah. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. The day is June 18th, 2024. We are going to read a letter together, a letter that has been circulating, and this is for entertainment and educational purposes only. I don't own the letter, but I am going to bring it to you because I want to see exactly what you think about it. Now, uh, this letter has, I found it on Twitter and it was sent to me by someone uh, that I trust very much. So we're going to just get right into the letter. We're going to see exactly what's going on and how this is going to impact the upcoming election. However, we are reading it specifically for informational no purposes and nothing more. You make your own determination as to what you believe, what you want to do with this info, or what you don't want to do with the info. All right? So this letter has been circulating, and it is from the delegation in Arizona. So we're going to get right into it. Quote, there is an effort underway to undermine the Arizona 2024 delegation and Arizona's America First grassroots. An attack on one of us is an attack on all of us. The Arizona delegates stand together for each other, for Arizona and for President Trump. Six of the Arizona national delegates have been challenged and an attempt has been made to remove these duly elected pro-Trump delegates from being seated and replace us with their preferred RNC loyalists who not only lost their elections, but are also suspected of being a part of an anti-Trump establishment group. It continues. At least one of these challengers has been reported to have worked with the anti-Trump faction in 2016 to attempt a brokered convention that would replace Trump with Ted Cruz. Two of the additional challengers have received funding from Jim Lehman, a publicly known never-Trumper and a former Senate candidate who held fundraisers to support DeSantis after Trump refused to endorse him. Another challenger works with a Yuma sector of Uniparty operatives who have funded efforts to block ballot harvesting investigations and funds Democrats. The evidence will show that our six targeted delegates are 1,000% for Donald J. Trump and that this is an orchestrated effort by our political adversaries using the same vile Democrat tactics on display against our beloved President Trump. We have learned that our political adversaries are using operatives from within the RNC itself to undermine Arizona and have included them in this lie. The challenges have been drafted by the RNC's very own legal counsel, Delon Law Firm. These claims are based on a meet and greet and rules training hosted by Shelby Bush and Joe Nagelia on June 3rd, 2024. All delegates, alternates and guests were invited. Evidence will show that the lies and attacks against this delegation came from an individual in that room on June 3rd, 2024. This is not an honest mistake. At the meeting, our delegation voted on a plan by the National Committee woman-elect Liz Harris and presented for a vote by Arizona Delegation Chair-elect Shelby Bush to reaffirm our commitment to President Trump and to support President Trump no matter what the outcome of his false kangaroo court sentencing and are still committed to doing so. Of the six challengers, only one was actually present at our meeting, Yvonne Cahill, who has targeted these same individuals being challenged for the last two years, simply because we are a part of the Maricopa County Republican Committee, MCRC, who stand up for the voice of the grassroots precinct committee man and refuse to support her ally, the power-hungry corrupt prior Arizona chairman, Jeff DeWitt, who resigned in shame after being exposed for a bribery scheme against Kari Lake and her other DeWitt allies. The letter goes on to say, common sense would show that if a plan to unbind delegates were at play by us as our accusers claim, we would not invite sitting legislators and known very public political adversaries to observe. This is a projection tactic used by the Democrats. The other five individuals, the letter continues, Mick McGuire, 
Brandon Turley, Valerie Turley, and Tyler Farnsworth were not even in the room and chose to pursue us with zero evidence. Only mere pictures of PowerPoint slides displaying the RNC rules. We can imagine it being alarming to those who plan evil acts to hear that average citizens chose to empower themselves with knowledge because we must know the rules so we can protect our rights. Joe Negalia. The evidence will also show that those bearing false witness against our duly elected delegates lost by overwhelming margins to those they seek to unseat. Do these challengers and the RNC really think they know better who should represent Arizona than the over 1,200 duly elected Arizona state delegates? This is the same disgusting elitist behavior that we have come to expect from the McCain and Romney factions of our party. Michael Schaefer beat his challenger, Yvonne Cahill, by 623%. Shelby Bush beat her challenger, Mick McGuire, by 450%. Susan Ellsworth beat her challenger, Tyler Farnsworth, by 150%. Susan Cheatham, Bert, Susan Cheatham beat her challenger, Barry Todd, by 800%. Chris Hamlet beat his opponent, Valerie Turley, by 634%. And Joe Negalia beat his opponent, Brandon Turley, by 1,104%. The Arizona grassroots patriots that love our president, Donald Trump, overwhelmingly voted for our delegation because they know us and our work in Arizona to save our state and our country, our unwavering support for Trump, and they know they can trust us to vote for Trump, even if he's incarcerated. The evidence will also show that two of the six challenged delegates were elected by the Arizona delegation to represent Arizona on committees by acclamation with no opponents. Joe Negalia Rules Committee and Michael Schaefer Credentials Committee. One individual was elected to the platform committee, defeating her opponent 25 to 10, and a third opponent withdrawing, Susan Ellsworth and Shelby Bush was elected delegation chair by acclamation with no opponent. The evidence will also show that these same individuals are leaders in the MCRC that voted to endorse President Trump January 29th of 2024, even when he still had opponents, arguably the first county party to endorse him. Since our challenges were received, we received reports from anonymous allies who claimed that John Finley, political operative in the DJT campaign, title convention delegate selections director, contacted them, offering them bribes to agree to challenge us. This operative is copied in one of the challenge emails along with Delon Law, further confirming the claims. We are confident based on these tips that more grassroots delegates would have been challenged if they could have found more bad actors to agree to their plans. We guess Arizona elected their true America first Trump delegates instead of allowing your selection, Mr. Findlay. Whether members of the RNC, DeLon Law, and those other political operatives are a part of the plot to orchestrate the lie or just fail to responsibly explore knowledge before believing it is unknown, but yet equally alarming. We will fight these unfounded claims, be extremely vocal about the truth, defend all claims with evidence and never surrender to the false witnesses. It continues, we plan to be victorious. The truth holds power. We know many Arizona America First stand strong with us, and we thank you. Please pray for us as we work through this process and know that we are committed to honoring our pledge to elect Donald J. Trump as the 2024 Republican presidential nominee, and it's signed Shelby Bush, CD3, National Delegate, Arizona Delegation Chair-Elect, MCRC, First Vice Chair, Susan Cheatham, CD9 National Delegate, MCRC Chaplain, Susan Ellsworth, CD5 National Delegate, RNC Platform Committee Elect MCRC versus Trainer, 
Chris Hamlet at large, national delegate, MCRC, member at large. Joe Nagalia at large, national delegate, RNC Rules Committee elect, MCRC parliamentarian. Michael Schaefer, CD1, national delegate, MCRC fundraising chair. For headlines with a voice, I am Dr. Felicia Lockhart. Lock up perspective.